I think most would agree that the linebacker group is the best on Texas Tech's team. There are veterans who've proven themselves as productive Big 12 players and plenty of depth behind them. Six Red Raider linebackers are seniors, and they've combined to make 84 career starts. I think we've got a lot of experienced guys, like guys that have played a, a lot of ball, getting really comfortable in the system, especially in the linebacker room. We've got a lot of uh, salty veterans, and you know we have depth too. So it's, it's, really, it's really a unique year in, in that regard. Depth and experience is nice, but what really makes this group special is the top end talent, and that starts with Colin Schooler. Everyone remembers his huge hit on Baylor quarterback Charlie Brewer that prevented a touchdown, but those were the sort of plays that Schooler was making all season. He was the team leader in sacks with three and a half and has a nose for the football that makes him valuable against the run. In addition to Schooler, Texas Tech has Krishan Merriweather, who has terrific sideline to sideline speed that allowed him to make a team high 75 tackles. Rico Jeffers is back for his fifth year at Texas Tech, and he's a team leader on and off the field. A couple guys who came in through the transfer portal last season, Brandon Boyer Randall and Jacob Morgenstern, are returning after they played a lot last year. Then there's Josiah Pierre, who's set to make his debut in the Scarlet and Black after transferring in from Florida. There are question marks up front on the defense and back in the secondary, but these linebackers are the heartbeat of the unit and will make plays week in and week out. For Red Raider Nation, I'm Phil Mayer.